So welcome back to another episode of Build and Drive, where today I'm gonna teach you guys how to change your oil. Lord of mercy. If you're interested in learning more about maintaining these BMWs on your own, I highly suggest you subscribe. We're gonna have a ton of maintenance videos all about how to keep your E90 going strong. So let's get started with this oil change. So all you're gonna need for your oil change is one of these oil filter remover. It takes a little 3 8 adapter on there to my half inch uh, ratchet. I use a 17 millimeter for the oil drain bolt, I believe it is. Of course, a little bucket to collect the oil and I'm changing oil with some 5W40 and of course an HUX16X oil filter. Once you've got your car jacked up, you're gonna remove your under tray or you have a little door flap that's right here. You'll be able to open that up to get at your oil drain bolt. I am using a aftermarket metallic oil drain bolt. This one, it says it's a 13, but a 14 millimeter fits on there. So we're gonna attach this here and we're gonna break it open a little bit first. Now remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're gonna switch that over. I'm just gonna break it like that. And then we're gonna get our bucket here and we're gonna open up our drain plug. So my technique is, I kinda can see it when it's getting to the end. I'm just gonna kinda put pressure on it forward and I feel it there, it's kinda clicked. And then I'm gonna let it out. So we're gonna let that drain now for a couple minutes. So while that drains, I just wanna show you this uh, metallic drain ball. You do not have to get one of these, but since I rebuilt my engine, you can see all those videos below. They're all on YouTube. If you ever want to do that on an M52, I decided to get one of these uh, metallic, uh, sorry, magnet drain bolts that collect metal just to see how much metal is in my engine there. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. There's a tiny bit of build up there, but like that's pretty good. I consider that kind of a win, just gives me a little bit of peace of mind about the health of the engine and if any metal's rubbing or if anything's wearing of what's going on. So I'm gonna wipe this clean. I need two hands for this. See, I mean, there's some smudge. I don't know what you would want to call this. There you go. There's a tiny bit of tiny bit of metal shavings there. Little clump. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And normally you'd want to put a new copper O-ring on here. This one is is still in good shape. You normally use a crush washer copper O-ring, and it comes with your man oil filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on put on the new o-ring and I'm going to put this back in the car. All right, next thing we're going to do is turn our attention to the oil filter. And you'll need this little uh, oil filter adapter. I'll put a link in the description below, but just get anything any one. This is a KS Tools 150.9343. Just go to Amazon. This is a one with a 3/8 adapter on it. You can get different ones with a socket on top. Just get one that works for you. Something with a good price. And we're going to again Lefty Lucy, just undo this. Don't forget to get a little, another little bin here to put the oil filter in. And there's the old oil filter. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is take this oil filter off right here, like that. And in the kit, we're gonna replace this little rubber o-ring here and this bigger one here and you're just going to use a pick or some screwdriver or something to get at these and we'll replace these this is what i mean by using a little pick here just going to take it off like that like that so the reason why you want to replace these is the heat makes these hard and brittle and you can lose, they can break, they can start leaking, etc., etc. So you want to replace these. So let's open up the new filter. I'll show you what I mean. There's the oil filter. Nice little paper one. And here it comes with a little, a little kit with a new 
crush washer, a new little green uh, O-ring, and the bigger one. So it can help to put a little bit of oil. Just dab this in a little bit of oil. And then we're gonna put this back on. There you go, there's the green one on. We'll put this bigger one on. And you're gonna roll it into this groove here, not all the way up. You're gonna put it in the groove between this piece and the threads, and that's it. So don't forget, this piece does come off, and uh, this is for the Vanos. It delivers oil down into the Vanos system. You do not want to forget to put this back on. Some people, some shops do take this off. This is spring-loaded. Well, there's a little spring in there that uh, when it opens, it delivers oil pressure to the Vano. So just remember, if you're getting, if you're going, if you're getting different codes on your, on your Vano system, make sure you have this little cage thing. All right, so we're gonna put this back in. I'm gonna clean this out a little bit because there's a little bit of oil left in there. All right. Again, you just wanna snug this up. It doesn't have to be cranked super hard. Just snug it up so that it's tight. Just gonna clean this up around here. Still draining a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're gonna put this back in. And then we'll tighten it up. Remember, don't torque it too hard because uh, you can damage the threads. So let's snug this up. I mean, that's all you need, really. So next, taking a look at the oil, I can already tell it's actually in pretty good shape. As you can see, it's still golden brown. I know it looks black, but on the edges, it looks golden brown. And even if you take a little bit of uh, paper and dip it in there, you can see that it's not as dirty as you realize. This actual oil actually looks really clean still. Uh, it has about 8,000 kilometers on it, I think. Uh, so I could have probably run this oil another two, 3,000 kilometers and it would have been just fine. Uh, but again, that depends on your engine, if it's burning a lot of oil and how healthy your engine is. So mine is brand new, well, brand new. Mine was rebuilt, so this is a good sign. My car is doing well and that's good to know. I'm happy to see that. But as a precaution, just gonna change the oil, get some fresh oil in there, because tomorrow we're gonna go racing, so uh, let's change this oil. And I forgot to freaking take this out. Oh man. Okay, we'll be right back in a second. So next thing we're gonna do is put in our oil. I have a whole other video about oil, but uh, just get any 5W30 or 5W40, depending on the weather, where you're, wherever you're from, depending on what kind of driving you're doing, if you're doing a lot of short trips, or it is colder outside, uh, maybe a 5W30 would be good because it brings the temperature of the oil up to operating temperature quicker. But if you're driving longer drives or your engine's older and you want to reduce some oil burning, I'm gonna test that out. I'm gonna run this car, see if that actually helps with oil burning, but you can get a 5W40. I like to go to the racetrack, but I drive every day. So I get a 5W40, just get any full synthetic you're looking for a BMW LL01 or LL04 oil, certified oil. And you can see this is a BMW LL01. But at the end of the day, just get something that is affordable for you. Um, I do recommend full synthetic, but again, you guys can go watch my oil video. I'll link it down below. And what we wanna do is measure out six and a half liters into the engine. So you'll need two of these bottles. Okay, we'll be back. This is going to take some time. So this is just a little trick I do for the last liter and a half. I poured in one of these. I have my second one here and I want to measure out one and a half liters. So I have this old one liter bottle from BMW. I normally also fill this up and I put this in my trunk just in case I need another liter while I'm driving. So what we do is we fill this up and I can see on my side here when it's full, so I'm gonna pour in one liter. There's half a liter and there's one liter. And then I'm gonna pour this in. I'm gonna do the same process for half a liter. Only give you half 
hot shit every day. Only, only give you hot shit every day. Come on. So that's it for your oil change. Super easy to do. If this has been helpful, then drop a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn how to keep these E90s on the road. We're doing a whole maintenance series, you know, doing brakes, flushing the brake fluid, flushing the clutch fluid, changing the diff oil, changing the transmission oil, how to flush your power steering fluid. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do all the things on your BMW. You can save money and keep your awesome car driving great. So I'm gonna get cleaned up. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.